Hello, this is Shishi coming to you today with a tutorial on how to make a gift ensemble box. This project is inspired by the Heartfelt Creations gift ensemble box um, die. It's recently retired and I wanted to show you how you can still duplicate the the gift ensemble box using a Martha Stewart punch. So the box looks like this when, when the project is finished. And I just wanted to show you that you can still get this, the end result with the Martha Stewart punch. And since the die is no longer available, I wanted to show you how you can use your punches to still get that look without spending a lot of money. So let's get started. I'll show you what the punch looks like. It looks like this. It's called the Martha Stewart Daisy Edge Punch. So I got this off of Amazon. I believe you can pick it up at your local uh, scrapbook store, Joann's, Michael's, may still carry them. But I know for sure that Amazon does carry it and it's around $7. So um, what you'll need for the project is a punch. Um, if you don't have this punch, you can use any punch. You just may need to adjust your measurements. Um, you'll need four sheets of paper. The paper in width will need to be five inches in width, eight and a half inches long. You'll need a pair of scissors, a scoring board, or if you have a ruler, you can use that also. Uh, you'll just need to make some adjustments and score how you normally would with a ruler. You'll need some glue, your favorite adhesive, and um, a pencil if that helps you um, make your marks. So um, the paper that you'll need, I would suggest some sturdy cardstock or some decorative scrapbook paper to decorate your box. I use the stamp to stamp out some of my decorations. I use plain cream cardstock from Recollections and then I just stamp a background stamp on and layered it on. And then I use some flower punch and some decorative dies to decorate the top. And then I just use my punch uh, to give this, this decorative edge on the sides uh, to create that look that the Heartfelt Creations Ensemble Box die gave. Um. Okay, at the one inch mark, you'll score your cardstock all the way down. I'm, I'm using the Martha Stewart scoring board, and it's it's not reaching all the way down, so I have to flip the page over and do the rest. And then on the other side you can score at the one inch mark again. But it's one inch and four inch. You can score if you're using a bigger board. So I'm going to flip the page again to, to finish my other score lines. Okay, so if you can see that, I scored at one inch and four inch. Then when I flip my page, I will score at two inches. Then I'll flip my page again and score at two inches. Again, my paper is five inches by eight and a half inches. Next, I'm going to cut out four corners of the paper, starting with this corner, as you can see. Then the next corner, the 
in the next corner. And then the last corner. And then you'll end up with something like this. Next, after you've punched out the borders, you punch out the borders like this on both sides. You're ready to assemble your box. So I'll go ahead and punch out the borders with you on this side. But you'll match the border on this side. So I'll do that. What I do is I flip my border so I know what I'm doing. And then I'll flip it on the other side so I can match it. Because it's really difficult to see where the paper is. So you get a little corner like that. So I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, once you've punched out both sides of your piece, it should look like this. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit so you can see the piece. Oh, it's as far as it'll go. But it looks like this, as you can see. Um, you'll take your scissors and then you'll just trim just the corners like so. So your box will close properly. And then when you when you're folding in the score lines, you fold this the flap this way on both sides. And then you fold this this way, these flaps this way. So that when you glue the sides together, which I've already assembled majority of the box, now I'll do just the last part. You match these two together on all four sides. So I'll do that right now. And when you're gluing, you glue right here, and then you glue where the little daisy, where the little daisy is, like right around here. It's really not hard to make, it's just hard to make on camera. It's just... This, it's easier with the die, but when you don't have a die and all you have is a punch, then you do you make do with what you have. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for those who don't have the die and it's no longer available. But you meet these two pieces together like so, and you just pinch them together to form the box. For those who do have the die, you assemble it the same way. Just match them up. And then when you're closing in the box, you make these corners up too, where you're forming the box. Because all the sides meet up. It just takes a really long time, longer than 15 minutes, to assemble the box. It's When you're trying to do a tutorial to do step by step, it's a little bit longer. It doesn't take that long to do it off camera, but 
when you're trying to do a tutorial it's a little bit longer explaining everything so I hope what I'm doing kind of gives you an idea of how to assemble this box but it's just repeating the same steps you're gluing the outside outline of the daisy border and then you're just meeting these sides up together like so you're just matching the two sides up together as best as you can because it's hard to punch out these daisies perfectly so it may not match up as perfect as a die would but you're pretty close to it then you have your box assembled and then you just close it up and here's your box it's all nice and pretty just like the heartfelt creations box So there it is. It's all assembled. And I'll show you the finished one that I did. Well, it's not completely finished, but it's 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 uh more finished to give you a better idea of what the box can look like. I wanted to add more vines and more flowers to it, but it's it's a cute little box. Um I I liked her original box and how she designed it but I thought you know when I first saw it I can make that with my Martha Stewart punch and I'm so glad that I was able to figure out how to do it so I hope this tutorial was helpful I apologize if you know I wasn't able to go more in depth I hope you know I shed some light on some things um, to give you a basic idea of how to assemble a box if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those questions and again I apologize I only have so much time to explain and go into detail with these videos but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can create this box with a punch instead of going out and buying the die or looking for the discontinued die and then it's probably thirty or forty dollars now since it's discontinued but it's a cute little box but anyway thanks for watching and subscribing and take care everyone have a great day